At CES 2017, we've come to a monorail adjacent parking lot to experience the future of driving in an autonomous Hyundai. Hyundai. No, Hyundai. We are sitting in uh, the autonomous Hyundai Ioniq. Uh, this is a concept vehicle at this point, but it is built on our production battery electric Ionic. What are the, the components that have been added to the Ionic to enable, um, uh, is it Mr. Yu? Yes. Up front to not have to drive. <laughs> to not drive, or, or non-driver to not drive. <laughs> um, the primary sensors that have been added to this vehicle are three additional cameras. That's a stereo camera array, which uh, allows object detection and helps detect distances to objects. Uh, that array has one camera in the center of it, which detects color, and that is basically there to detect phase of those signals. Okay. So it's basically a red light, green light game. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, and very critically, we've added three LiDAR sensors, all on the front of the vehicle. Okay. And that's object detection as well. And another thing that does is that helps compare our location to the highly detailed map that we're using on this route. Uh, should, should we go out and see, see how the Ionic ahead, performs? Yes. Yeah. All right. So as I mentioned, uh, yes, thanks. As I mentioned, we're in manual mode now. That would uh, explain the steering and, and stuff that's happening up front there. Yes. If you're underwhelmed at the moment, that's okay. <laughs> like I feel like but I've seen this the before. Car, only yeah. with the driving. Oh, the car is great. The car is excellent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, so we're heading out to Vegas. By the way, Vegas is a town filled with um, uh, drunks and thieves. So if we <laughs> make it through, and if the, a vehicle automation can deal with this kind of uh, challenging environment, I think it's going to be a, a real thumbs up for the Ionic. <laughs> That's an interesting point, yes. You'll see Mr. Yu press the cruise button. Now hands off. On the screen, the top of the center stack, that screen, you'll see there's a little steering wheel logo yeah. now. That means we're in autonomous mode. You also saw a green light light up. That was the phase of the traffic signal oh. under which we just passed. Oh, look, there's a truck up there. Let's see if it, ah, it notices the, uh, the delivery truck. So we're turning right up here. So we'll have a decision to make as to whether we wait. And it does look like he's gonna move, so we'll wait. All right. And I can, can verify that Mr. Yu's feet are not on the pedals. And the steering wheel is steering. There's a turn signal that he also did not manually activate. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Bus pulled in front of us and people are honking. Not at us, I'm not sure. Not at us. Yeah, I think we talked a little bit before about building consumer trust. And that's really what that display is all about. That's the one that tells you, I know what's happening. Whoa. Uh, yes. <laughs> wow. Whoa. So someone else almost turned into us that time. So, so if uh, Mr. Yu hadn't intervened there, what might have happened? If the car had sensed it, it would have tried to stop, but we can't prevent that car from just running into us. So yeah. it was better to intervene. If they're motivated to sideswipe, you, you can only do so much. Right. <laughs> so now we're back in autonomous mode. <laughs> we'll take a right up here. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Making a right-hand turn. And I like to point out that on this road, we have very poor lane markings. Yeah. So you'll see sort of the, the bump strip type markings in the middle. <clears throat> and then actually as we move up past the next traffic signal, you see a bike lane on our right and a very faded, um, faded stripe on the other side. So the vehicle is looking at these curbs and positioning itself using LiDAR. So it's using the curbs themselves. Uh, uh, is it also you looking at the, like the bot dots there? It's picking up everything it can uh, so that the far left of the four cameras, you know, that's the lane departure warning camera. That's a production item that's available in the Ionic as soon as it goes on sale. Yeah. Um, but this is something that, you know, we consider to be a very challenging lane departure environment when you can't see the markers very well. Yeah. Well, and so going forward, uh, the big question I'm sure everybody's curious about is, will we see a production automated uh, Ionic in the near future? Or what's, what's the timeline we can expect? Uh, we don't have a specific timeline for production at this time. Uh, I think the R&D team would tell you that you know, the technology is here. We're testing it. We'll continue to uh, you know, have the car evolve over time with the learning from events like this. But you know, the, the technology could be ready probably within about a few years. But we need to solve the mapping questions. We need to solve the regulatory questions. So we think it's going to be after that sometime. So somewhere probably in the 2020s, maybe in the later end of that, yeah. uh, is when consumers might see something like this. Gotcha. So, uh, so there's mapping and there's... Um there's, uh, you know, legislative issues and there's jerks and Range Rovers. Right. So there's definitely some challenges <laughs> to overcome. But, uh, but yeah, I guess this is the inevitable future. I would say so, yes. We'll try. Cool. High five. <laughs>